of vlog number five. <clears throat> most successful role-playing games uh, are the campaigns that I've run as a game master. Well, I've run... One was in my early 20s and I ran it for seven months and the whole group I was with, uh, all of the players for the most part, were unemployed at the time so we had time to burn Uh, we played the game every single day of the week, including Saturdays, for seven months. <clears throat> and it was the uh, Queen of Spiders campaign that uh, sequenced the modules by Gary Gygax, which was, um, you know, Vault of the Drow, the Giant series. All of that stuff. Uh, and that was absolutely fantastic. So I GM'd a group of about anywhere from, I would say, five to eight players at a time. And for the most part, they would show for pretty much every session, even the Saturday nights. It was just so good. You know, I was at the top of my game in terms of GMing. I really lived it. I lived it, that campaign. And uh, so did the players. And when I talk to these guys today, um, you know, we all moved our separate ways about whenever I do get a chance to talk to them, invariably that campaign comes up, Queen of Spotters. And, uh, you know, it was just so epic. It was so epic. You know, one guy, uh, Sardok of the Mammoth, Slayer of Wolf, this uh, elven ranger, uh, he had a statue made of him in uh, Sterich, in Istavid maybe, and obviously Greyhawk. <coughs> And uh, there was a cavalier who, uh, you know, jumped with his horse across the river, you know, and plunged his lance into the chest of a hill giant. Uh, they, it was just so unbelievably epic. I mean, they grew with their characters. It was such a fun experience for everybody all around. Okay, that was campaign one that I uh, had a, just a blast with. Campaign number two that, you know, I, I ran and it was extremely successful. You know, I've run a lot uh, over the years, you know, and they've all been successful, but relatively short term, like a few months here and there, and then we end. The other one I ran was uh, Riffs. Strangely enough, I'd purchased the Riffs main book in... Uh, the 80s, I think, or early 90s, and could never find anybody to play play it. And, you know, Rifts, for those of you who don't know, is a mix of sci-fi and fantasy. So you can be a wizard, a borg, you know, cyborg, uh, a dragon, all at first level. Completely unbalanced, but not meant to be balanced. And um, I picked it up. No one wanted to play it. <clears throat> All of my groups were uh, fantasy or nothing. And I had one guy who kind of dominated the gaming groups. And if he didn't like sci-fi, no one else did. Or they pretended not to. And that went on for years and years. And it was very frustrating. So I had this soft cover Riff's main book. And I'd look at the pictures longingly. And, uh, you know, want to GM the coalition and whatnot. And for those of you who don't know Riffs, I mean, picking up the books, I, for years I did pick up the books afterwards. Just for the fluff, you know, just for the, uh, it, they're just such an entertaining read. The world books is so fun. Kevin Sambita's imagination and, you know, all the other guys who work with them. They're just it, quite amazing. I had so much fun reading the Riffs world books. <laughs> I bought them and never played it. And then uh, finally, as time went on and the internet started and got whirling and I got into the internet, um, I started gaming using Skype 
me a, a long, long time ago. I was, I was the first I know of that used Skype for role playing. And it was just a fluke. It just uh, the first time I used Skype and realized that a bunch of people could talk, you know, in a conference call. You know, didn't use video. I, the very first thought in my mind was role playing, gaming. Uh, so anyway, I finally found a Rifts group on the Palladium boards. Said, "Do you want to play?" It's Skype voice chat, and they're like, "Oh, voice chat." And we tried it, and. Uh, that ran for two years. Epic, epic, epic story. And they grew to love their characters and adore their characters. And we went right from North America, uh, you know, to England, Rifts England, to, uh, you know, they left the world. Merlin banished them to Phase World and stuff. And they came back. And to this day, uh, that's their main, you know, their main game of love. And I'll return to that game eventually when Savage Worlds comes out. We're going to convert over. Okay, love you.